Hey, it's Instructor Sam. So today I'm going to show you how to use the syringe. Um, as you can see right here, I have the barrel and the plunger together. And then I have my butterfly needle right here. As you can see, it's a one side butterfly needle. This is actually a training needle. The real needle will actually have two wings on both sides. You always want to make sure the bevel is up. It's extremely important. As you can see, the little hole that's right there. Keep in mind your standard, your actual butterfly needle is going to have two wings. This is just a practice needle. So as you can see that it has one wing, just in case if you're wondering. You always want to make sure that you put on the tourniquet. As you can see how I'm placing this tourniquet. Make sure you place the tourniquet on properly. Make sure it's not too tight, but just tight enough to make sure that the veins could come up to the surface. Of course, this tourniquet is not allowed to be on longer than one minute, so keep that in mind. As you can see, if you need to move the tourniquet, hold it from the bottom part and the top part and just slide it to the side. If you need to replay it, go ahead and replay it. Before you go ahead and punch someone, you want to make sure that you use alcohol. If you could just see that a few seconds ago, I cleaned in a circle motion. As you can see, I'm going to do it again. Clean in a circular motion. You want to make sure that the tourniquet, it's at least three to four inches away from where you're going to actually puncture the patient. Give yourself at least three inches. 70% of alcohol, as you can see, is used. Test question. All right, so the tourniquet is allowed to only be on for one minute. Now, some of you might ask, what about if the tourniquet is on for longer than one minute? Um, do you restart everything? Just take it off and just reapply it. So do not blow on the site. Do not fan the site. Do not touch the site once you place alcohol, because if you touch the site, you're going to have to clean it all over again. Remember, your turn kit is only allowed to be on for one minute. Once you found your vein by palpating, of course, like I said, you want to make sure that you clean the area with alcohol. If you need to move the tourniquet, you can hold it from the bottom and top and just slide it. Practice doing it at home or in class. As you can see, I'm sliding it from the top and bottom. It gets that tourniquet out of your way if it's just like right on top of the vein. So this is what helped me. As you can see, palpate the vein. Make sure that you can feel it, all right? So sometimes it might be invisible, but as long as you can feel it, that's a good thing. Just go right there, all right? You make sure you clean in a circular motion with alcohol. This is my plunger. This is my barrel. You want to make sure that the plunger is down, right? So do not go ahead and puncture the patient and this plunger is actually up. You want to make sure it's down before puncturing the patient. Keep in mind, the belva must be up, as you can see. You wanna always make sure you use a 15 to 30 degrees angle. Once you see the little flash right there, that means that you're inside of the vein. So go ahead and pull slowly. Syringes are really used for people who have delicate veins, of course, like someone who's much older, someone's veins who always collapse from the force of the ETS tube. So this allows you to be able to pull the blood out nice and slowly. As you can see, once the blood starts flowing, remove the tourniquet. Keep in mind, like I said, this is supposed to be a two wing needle, but of course this is a practice needle. So pull the needle out first and then place the gauze right on top. Do not hold on to the patient's gauze while you're trying to put the needle in the sharps container. Get rid of the needle, of course, and tell the patient to hold the gauze on. As you can see, you want to place the label right here. If you're working in the hospital or lab and then put the cap on the barrel, of course, and then send it over to the lab. I hope this helped. Have a wonderful day.